Hello, everybody. This is Joyce Alina, and I'm so excited. Tonight, we are going to play Siberia. Now, recently, I think back in um, May, April, May time frame, Siberia 3 came out, and I was really excited. I have not played Siberia 3 yet because it has been so long. The original Siberia came out, I think it was like in 2003, and I played it originally on the Xbox, and I absolutely fell in love with the, with the, um, with the game, but I have not played it since. So I don't remember hardly anything. There's a few things that I remember, um, but I was just excited. Before I played Siberia 3, I wanted to go through and play the first two games. So tonight, we are going to start a new game of Siberia. I mean, I have completely forgotten 99% of this game. Okay, we're in the French Alps. Okay, I'd forgotten that this is basically a point and click. So again, like I said, I played it on the Xbox, so the controls are a little different. Let's see. Aha. I need to put the key in his back. I picked up the key. I need a key. I just picked up a key. How do I look for my inventory? How do I go back? Uh oh, now I'm off the page. I picked up a key. I need a key. Okay, so where's my inventory at? How do I find it? I'm pushing buttons. This is probably a bad idea. I? Nope. Okay, let's go over here. Is it going to let me see anything? No. Oh, what do I have in here? This is my suitcase. I really don't have the strength to take this suitcase any further. I wonder who can help me. Well, let's see who's over here on the board. Okay, great. More stuff in my inventory. Oh, oh ta-da! Let yourself be transported by the magnificent landscape surrounding, surrounding Valadilin, a small, charming town tucked away in the Alps, and by Vorlberg Manufacturing, whose exceptional savoir-faire in the specialized world of luxury mechanical toys and automatons is at the root of Valadolin's reputation around the world. For 800 years, the Vorlberg family has passed on its knowledge from generation to generation, perfecting the art of that particular branch of clockmaking that breathes life into the complex networks of cogs and spindles that make up automatons. Its creative wonders once defied belief and drew admiration from young and old alike. People would come from across Europe for a chance to vie for the right to own one of these fantastic toys. Unequaled savoir-faire 
At the heart of a mechanical automaton is its motors. A series of spindles are set in motion to music via a set of cogs. Attached to the spindles are cams which are shaped in the image of the music. In turn, they command a series of rods which control the gestures of the toy at their tips. Okay, I'm not reading all of this. Rudolf Vorlberg, Charles Vorlberg, one of his creations. A large part of production was devoted to the production of theatrical, theatrical puppets at the time. Interesting. Okay. That's where I'm at. So, can I come over here? Oh, I'm leading to a new room. Hello. Can you carry my bags that apparently I'm too hi there. tired to carry? Hey, hi there. What are you doing? Can I see? No, too difficult. Momo's work, very difficult. Uh, Kate or help? Kate. So, your name's Momo. I'm Kate. Momo do like Hans. He draw. Hans? Don't disturb Momo. Momo work difficult. Will you show me your drawing? No, not finished. Go away. Oh, he's not going to want to help me then. I've just arrived. Uh, my case is a little heavy. Can you help me take it up to the room? Momo strong. Very strong. But no time. Momo <sighs> very busy. You're busy doing what? I, oh, I guess I'll let you continue working. I'm going to have to figure out how to change your mind. Okay, anything over here in the fireplace? In the clock? No. An ashtray? Can I look at that? I can't zoom in. How do I zoom in? How do I look out the window? Fine. Can I look at this stuff? Okay, there has Can I go upstairs without my suitcase? I shouldn't leave my luggage here. Oh. It'll be fine, come on. Okay. Clearly, now I don't even know how to get help. Help. Oh, look. If I hit escape, I get the key. Now I can go to here. Maybe you'll let me say... Put that there, and now I can click it. Yes? I need a key. I have the key. I just showed you the key. See, I hit escape. We said reception bell key. I grab it. Escape. How do I use you? Is that putting it back in my inventory every time? That, now what if I click? Oh, okay. I'm a slow learner, clearly. Okay, now I push the button. Somebody, come help me. Now if it's Momo, it's gonna drive me crazy. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Oh, hello, little man. Hi there. Hello there, ma'am. I'm Kate. I would like a room. My company should have made a reservation in the name of Walker. The company is Marson and Lormont Associates. The name is Kate Walker. Of course, Miss Walker. You are in room six on the next floor up. Thank you. Can you help carry Could my Could you dad? possibly take my luggage up, please? Please do excuse me, Miss Walker. We have been neglecting our duties. Guests are so rare these days that we forget our manners. Oh. So you're the American woman? Ramsey, Is it true what people say? That you've come to buy the factory? Not factory. Anna's house. Hans' house. Excuse me? Who's Would Anna you quiet Anna? down, you mischievous little boy? Oh. I imagine our little town must disappoint you. You see, today is very sad for us. It's a day of mourning. Today is the funeral of Miss Anna. Who's Momo Miss Anna? sad, but... Hans not dead. Hans long way away. Anna told Momo. 
Anna like Momo very much. That's enough, Momo. Stop pestering the lady. Now go on, scram. Get out of here, you hear? Well, I'll be picking those up. What was I saying? Oh yes, Miss Anna. Such a great loss for Valle de Laine, it really is. Because now that she's dead, the factory will close. But you're here to stop that happening, aren't you? Our future is in your hands, Miss Walker. What? Anna Varlberg is dead? That must have been the funeral. Was I not there for the funeral? Okay. But I want to go down and get the cogs. Here's your room. I hope you like it, Miss Walker. It seems very nice. Are there any bed bugs? I'll leave you to rest for the time being. You must have a lot of work to do. You know, the takeover of the factory is very good news for us here. It would make us very happy to see life return to our valley. If only you had seen Valadilen before. It was delightful. People came from all over the world to buy Vorlberg automatons. Ah, somebody has left you some mail, I see. Remember, if you need what anything at all, we're not far scene? away, Miss Walker. Wow. This did not port well to the PC. Um, so, in, in case you're wondering, why was I mentioning Gordon Ramsay? He has the show called Hotel Hell, where he takes places that are basically about to go under, like little hotels and inns, and that's what this reminded me of. Um, so, our mission, if we choose to accept it, is to basically save the factory and um, spare this town from its ruin and bring it back to life. No pressure. Okay, what's in my bag? I don't need that for the time being. Aren't you going to put stuff away? Fine. Let's come over here where the things are all oh, there. The graphics are not janky anymore. Let's look at the letter given to me. Dear Kate, our client, the Universal Toy Company, is more than eager to see conclusions from the talks with Vorlberg Manufacturing with view to take it over in the days to come, and we have received notification to this effect. We are counting on your undoubted qualities as a business lawyer to bring negotiations with Madame Anna Vorlberg, the current owner, to a close. Allow me to remind you that the Universal Toy Company is a multinational, which has a monopoly on the toy market. It is a Class A priority client who is also presenting Madame Vorlberg with a golden opportunity to sell her factory. You should remind her of this fact in case she starts having last minute, last minute second thoughts before signing the purchase agreement. I am under no doubt that you will live up to the great expectations I have in you. So, they don't know um, in New York that she is dead as well. So this big surprise. I should tell Marson about the death of Miss Varlberg. Yeah. I hope this isn't going to get too complicated. I can't see myself staying here too long. Because of the bed bugs? Okay, so what else? What's this? Is this no the bathroom? No need to go down there. Go down? I don't know where that is. Okay, there's nothing else over here. Um, can we go over here? How do I notify? Can we go over here? Who's this picture of? This is definitely a first generation click and point and click game, isn't it? No, oh, all the way back here. Nothing? Fine. I guess you're leaving. Let's go downstairs and get those cogs from Momo. Uh, over here? Can I go into any of the other rooms? Ooh, can I? Oh, I can. No need to go down there. Well, why not? You are not inquisitive enough, Kate Walker. Ooh, see? No need to go down there. I don't think that's down. I think that word is in. There's no need to go. No need to go down there. In there. Oh, this one's open. Ha oh. ha. No need to go down there. But it's open. You can just walk right in. See, the maid must have left something. Anything else? No? Okay. Clearly, Kate and I have a different perspective on adventure. She's all business. Can you go in there? No need to go down there. 
Is there a need to go down here, Kate Walker? I believe yes. Okay, let's go get those cogs. Whatever Momo threw in his fit of terror, a fit of rage. See, pick him up. And the other one. Okay, now let's look in our inventory. Large cogwheel, medium cogwheel. Okay. Now what is next? Well, we need to find out how we make a phone call. So I'm taking it. We talked to this guy. I need to make a phone call. I'm back again. Miss Walker? Oh, there's a long list. Okay. Um, I already said this. Is Hello. Anything new? My name is Kate Walker and... Of course, of course. Walker, room six, next floor up. I think I'm going to need your help again. Yes, I am. Are you leaving already, Miss Walker? Should we bring down your luggage? No. No, no, I'm not leaving yet. It's just that... We would love to help, but just think what would happen if the telephone rang, or, or if a fax arrived, or if a customer came through the door. We don't have five minutes rest here. Just I'm sorry. said you hadn't had guests it's in okay. a while. No biggie. The young boy who Fine. was here earlier talked about uh, uh, Hans. Uh, who is Hans? Uh, Momo was talking about Hans Vorlberg, Anna's younger brother. But he died a long time ago. Nobody here even met him. Okay. Kate, why are you saying Hans? It's Hans? Jeez. Who is the boy who was drawing here earlier? Is he your son? Heaven forbid, no, no, not at all. <laughs> He's not a bad boy, no. Momo is just a little simple, that's all. What is his connection with Anna Varlberg? Momo is what you'd call the village idiot, well, and Anna took nice. him under her wing. He must have reminded her of her younger brother, no doubt. And uh, birds of a feather stick together, don't they? You're implying that Anna Varlberg was a little bit slow as well? Heaven forbid. No, no, not at all. She was a real loner. She kept to herself. That's all. Hmm. I'm not liking this guy at all. I just love all these little mechanical robots. I've noticed there are tons of them here in Valadilen. Be careful what you say. Varlberg automatons are not robots. If you want people to like you here, never ever pronounce the word robot. Uh, or hands. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between an automaton and a robot, then? <laughs> uh, well, to tell you the truth, no one really knows. I would believe it would be circuitry. That would be my guess. Automatons are done with cogs and uh, mechanicals, whereas a robot it's, uh, electronics. Did you know Anna Varlberg yourself? Oh, why, of course I did. I, I mean, well, not really. She was a very great lady. We loved her very much. May she rest in peace. Okay, so, if I want to make I a phone call, do like I have to I like to see leave? my room now. Why, certainly, of course. You've already seen your room. We need to make a phone call. Do I have to put on my coat? Grab an umbrella, or can I just leave? I'll wait for the storm to end before I step outside. Well, that could be forever. How do I, how do I initiate getting the uh, storm to stop? This game is offering me power. I have no idea I, if I really have. Okay, so I guess it's back to the room. But there was nothing else in that room. Oh, I have a cell phone. <laughs> okay, we'll go in here. Perhaps I need to call somebody. Send. Um, how do I get the addresses? Office.
Marson and Lawmont, how can I help you? Can you put me through to Mr. Marson, please? It's Kate Walker. Hold the line, please. Ooh, a little Muzak for your listening pleasure. Hello, Kate. So tell me, how's the case going? I've just got to Valady Lynn, and there's a slight problem, Mr. Marson, I'm afraid. Mrs. Vorlberg is dead. Ah, that's most unfortunate. But I seem to remember we made provisions for just such a sad eventuality, and we know that there was no heir. Yes, that's right, but... So where's the problem, Kate? Contact the notary right away. I'll get my secretary to fax you his address and an introduction letter from the firm. Very good, Mr. Marson. Right. I gotta go, Kate. Keep me up to date, okay? I just... <sighs> okay, so now what's in my inventory? Put the phone away. And now... Oh, my mission. You can tell me my mission? Dialogue notebook. Personal file. What's his fax? Wait, so I got the fax already? That's a miracle. Can I read the fax? How do I read the fax? Oh, look at. Oh, that's the old fax. Okay, I need a new fax. Hmm. Is there anyone else I can call? Office, mom. Oh. Call mom. I got there safe, mom. I never remember to call my mom when I get someplace. Clearly mom's busy. Olivia, who's Olivia? Okay, if I'm in the French Alps, all these people are probably sleeping right about now and it's awfully mean for me to call them. Okay, so if I need a fax, let's head downstairs. Okay, the little old guy was right. He needs to not be interrupted. He needs to be able to send and receive faxes. And I need to receive a fax. Okay. I'm nothing. back again. I'm back Ms. again. Walker? Help again? Mission. A fax didn't arrive for me, did it? Maybe. I thought I heard the phone ring. Do you think you might want to go and check? Certainly, ma'am. Immediately. Thank you very much. Aha! Now it's this one. Dear Maître of... Oh, Voltaire, as you, no doubt, uh, as you are no doubt aware, our practice is charged with undertaking negotiations for the takeover of the Vorlberg manufacturing by our client, the Universal Toy Company. It is with great sadness that we learn of the recent death of the manager and owner of the factory, Madame Vorlberg, with whom negotiations had started. We are under no doubt that Madame Vorlberg left you instructions before her death, enabling the sale to be concluded. We should remind you of the significant boost to the arrival of the American multinational uh, the arrival of the American multinational would bring to the economy of your region. It is for this reason that I am sure you will give our representative, Ms. Kate Walker, a warm welcome. Yours faithfully, Edward Marson. Thank you. At your service. Okay, now I have the facts. And I'm we'll going to go look around Valadie Len. Oh, okay. See you later. So now, as you like, Miss. I can leave, and we will um, we will leave next time because it's already been quite a while since I started this. So we will uh, continue this in our next episode, and we will see you then. Mm-hmm.